Uh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're going to be jumping back into our Balloon Star Defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide. And for today's guide, we're going to be jumping onto Dark Castle Alternate Balloon Drowns. So for this guide, I will have my Monkey Knowledge turned off, and I will be using Benjamin as my hero. So now that we went ahead and covered that, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Alright guys, and here we are on Dark Castle Alternate Balloon Drowns. So the first thing that we're going to be starting off with is we're going to be starting off with a Ninja Monkey and we're going to be placing our Ninja Monkey right here in the bottom corner like so. So uh, before we get too far along in this guide, I just want to say uh, if you guys have any monkey knowledge whatsoever, make sure you guys turn your monkey knowledge on because it will make this guide 112% easier easier especially if you guys have spikes at the end of the road and the mana shield on top of that if, if you guys have all the buffs that uh makes your hero cheaper and also starts him off at level three all right so now that we have our ninja monkey upgrade to ninja discipline the next thing that we're going to be buying is we're going to be buying our seeking shurikens so as soon as we can afford to buy our seeking shurikens we're going to go ahead and do so which shouldn't take us too long to actually be able to afford it there we go perfect so now that we have our Seeking Shurikens, the next thing that we're going to buy is we're going to save up to buy a Sniper Monkey. Because of course this is alternate balloon rounds and we need to be able to pop lead balloons on round 10. So as soon as we can afford to buy our Sniper Monkey, we're going to go ahead and do so. Which I think we should be able to afford him this round. And then we'll be able to afford Full Metal Jacket on round 10. Alright, here's our Sniper Monkey. So now we're going to go ahead and swap his targeting over to Targeting Strong. And then we're going to save up to buy Full Metal Jacket. Uh, believe me, guys, uh, we are going to drop extremely, extremely low on lives here. Because unfor unfortunately, this is an expert map and we do not have our Monkey Knowledge turned on. I, I cannot stress it enough. If you guys have any Monkey Knowledge whatsoever, it doesn't matter if you're level 20 or if you're level 100. If you guys have any Monkey Knowledge, make sure you guys turn it on because it will make this guide a lot easier to follow along to. Alright, now that we have our Sniper Monkey upgrade to Full Metal Jacket, we're going to be saving up for Sharp Shurikens. So, as soon as we can afford to buy our Sharp Shurikens, we're going to go ahead and buy it. Which, there we go, perfect. So, as you guys can see, we are all the way down to 30 lives now, guys. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to save up to buy our Monkey Sub. So, as soon as we can afford to buy our Monkey Sub, we're going to go ahead and do so. Now, we're going to be upgrading our Monkey Sub to a 202. That way, we have enough popping power in order to actually afford our Hero. All right, so there is our monkey sub. As you guys can see, we're, li we're lining up his barrel with this little uh, bridge thingy mabobber right here. And now that we have our monkey, su monkey sub placed down, we're going to go ahead and buy our twin guns. So as soon as we can afford, afford to buy our twin guns, we're going to go ahead and buy them. Which shouldn't actually take us too long to actually be able to afford them. All right, now that we have our twin guns, we're going to be saving up to buy our long range and our advanced intel. But while we're saving up to buy all of these upgrades, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The support on the channel has been absolutely insane. You guys are absolutely crushing it, so I can't say thank you enough. But anyways, guys, uh, that being said, if at any point in time you find this guide helpful or enjoyable, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloons Tower Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, uh, the next thing that we need to buy is we need to buy our airburst starts. So as soon as, as soon as we can afford to buy our airburst starts, we're going to go ahead and buy it, which it shouldn't take us too long to actually be able to afford it. As, as you guys can see, we are officially down to nine lives. We cannot afford to let any more balloons leak through. Otherwise, we could potentially lose. All right, now that we have our airburst starts, the next thing that we immediately need to buy is we need to buy our night vision goggles because on round 24, we are going to have a camel lead balloon come through. And unfortunately, our sniper monkey is still the only tower that can actually pop lead balloons. All right, now that we have all of these towers placed down, the next thing that we need to go for is we need to save up to buy our hero because we need to we need him to be at level uh, level 7 for round 40. Which is going to be extremely, extremely close in, or it's just going to be extremely close to us being able to upgrade our hero to level seven for round forty. All right, so now that we have all this placed down, the next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for triple guns. So as soon as we can afford to buy our triple guns, we're going to go ahead and buy them. So guys, there is going to be a very crucial round coming up here on round thirty-two, where we are going to play things extremely, extremely slow. The reason why we're going to be playing things extremely slow is because we are going to have a bunch of ceramic balloons come out on round uh, 32 that are that we need to make sure that our wizard monkey can actually deal with. Now this is where the RNG is going to come in play. 
so that being said if you guys need to home re reset uh, don't 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 feel bad for home resetting. I know if I have to have to I most certainly will All right, so now uh, as soon as we can afford to buy our wall of fire We're gonna go ahead and buy it which we should be able to afford it here in just one second. There we go Now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be buying our intense magic. There we go now uh, I'm gonna be hovering my mouse over the settings button just in case a balloon makes it a little bit too far all right, and then if the balloons make it too far, then we're going to go ahead and do the home reset option. All right, so here we go. We have, this is the, ceram the ceramic balloon that, that we're going to be worried about. Un unfortunately, we had the bad RNG with the w wizard monkey. So we're going to do the home reset in order to make sure that we get the good RNG with the wizard monkey. Now, guys, because this is alternate balloon rounds, do not worry about it affecting your black border progress because it will not affect your black border progress whatsoever. All right, so as soon as we can upgrade to intense magic, there we go. All right, and again, we're, we're, we're going to be doing the same exact thing. We're going to be ho hovering our mouse over the settings button just in case we have a balloon that's about to slip through because unfortunately there is going to be RNG in play because of the wizard monkey. All right, here is the ceramic balloon that we're worried about, and there we go. Perfect. So we had the good RNG there. Now we are set and good to go. All right, so now that we have all of this, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading our Ninja Monkey to a double shot. So as soon as we can afford to buy our double shot, we're going to be, or we're going to go ahead and buy our double shot. Now, again, guys, uh, don't worry about home resetting because it will not affect your black border progress. The only time the home re reset will affect your black border progress is if you home reset on chimps mode. All right, so now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading our monkey sub to armor piercing darts. That way we have a little bit of additional popping power against the Moab balloon on round 40. All right, there we go. Perfect. So we should be able to afford our armor piercing darts here in just one second. And we would really, 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 really want to uh, have our armor piercing darts as soon as possible. All right, there we go. Now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be saving up to buy a alchemist here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing our alchemist up top here. And then we're going to be upgrading him all the way to Durker Brew. All right, again, we're going to go ahead and take this a little bit slow here. We don't want any balloons to slip through because that would be super unfortunate, especially since we're already on round 37. All right, and our Berserker Brew. There's our Berserker Brew. Awesome. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to save up for Stronger Acid, then Perishing Potions. And once we get our Perishing Potions, we cannot afford... Come on, wi Wizard. There, there we go. All right, now we now we need to save up the rest of our money in order to upgrade our Benjamin to level 7 uh, on round 40. All right, so we can go ahead and speed through all of these rounds. There's nothing else that we that we really need to do right now. Uh, the only other thing that we could potentially do is buy a Dart Monkey and place it right there because we will be buying one uh, once we get our Alchemist up upgrade to a stronger stem, but for the most part, oops, let's go ahead and upgrade our Benjamin to level 7. And now that we have our Benjamin upgrade to level 7, we should be able to deal with the Moab Balloon right before it leaves. Awesome. Now that we have all of this take, take, taken care of, the next thing that we're, we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving up to upgrade our Alchemist up to stronger stem. So as soon as we can afford to buy our stronger stem, we're going to go ahead and buy it. All right, there's our stronger stem. Now that we have our stronger stem, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be saving up our money till we have roughly a $1,500 in the bank because what this will allow us to do is it will allow us to buy Dragon's Breath on our Wizard Monkey. All right, there we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and sell you, buy Dragon's Breath, and then we're going to come up top here, and then we're going to be buying a Dart Monkey, placing our Dart Monkey right there, and then we're going to be upgrading it to Enhanced Eyesight, followed by Crossbow. Now, of course, what this is going to do is it's going to allow our monkey sub to get a little bit better uh, area of effect and be a little bit more effective. All right, now that we've done all of that, the next thing that, that, that we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading our sniper monkey all the way up to Mame, or er, yeah, Mame Moab. All right, so uh, other, other than that, there's nothing else that we really need to do all the way up until round 60. On round 60, we're, we're going to be selling a couple of towers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my sniper all the way up to Mame Moab. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys back on round 60.
Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back on round 59 because in between round 59 and 60, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of changes to our lineup. Alright, so let me, let's go ahead and finish up round, fi round 59. Round 59 is not going to give us too much of an issue. There we go, perfect. So now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be selling these towers like so. And then we're going to be upgrading our sub to the sub commander. All right, now that we've done that, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming back down here and we're going to be rebuying our wizard monkey, upgrading him to the wall of fire. That way we have a little bit of additional lead popping power because the only thing that our monkey sub is weak against is, of course, going to be lead balloons. All right, there we go. So we can go ahead and fast forward now. Unfortunately, because we don't have the main Moab anymore, we need to rely heavily on our monkey sub, which are our sub commander. Luckily, our sub our sub commander is an absolute beast. And let's go ahead and turn our auto start back on and like a so. And now that we have our sub commander, we are setting in a extremely, extremely a good position. All right, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to rebuy a couple of our towers, so swap him back over to tar tar Targeting Strong, and then we're going to be upgrading him all the way back up to Mame Moab. But all right, guys, uh, from this from this point on, the next thing the only ne uh, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading our Cypher to Mame Moab. Following that, we're going to be buying a couple of Monkey Villages to go ahead and increase our Sub Commander's popping power uh, because he. Like, like I said, he is extremely weak to lead to lead balloons. So have, having a little bit more lead lead pop popping power would be very very nice. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where we where I have made Moab, and then I'll bring you guys back as soon as we have it. Alright guys, here we are on round 66 and we officially have our main Moab with the uh, shrapnel shot so we can go ahead and speed things back up. And this is going to uh, uh, allow us to deal with a bunch of these these rounds without uh, really needing to worry about any balloons slip, slipping through. Alright, so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to grab ourselves a monkey village. Like so. And then we're just, then we're going to go ahead and grab a second monkey village like so there we go and then we're going to go ahead and upgrade to a monkey business monkey commerce to go ahead and give us a little bit of a cheaper rate and then we're going to be upgrading this monkey village to jungle drums all right there we go now we're going we're to go ahead and upgrade this uh monkey village to monkey business and monkey commerce as well and then we're going to be going for jungle drums like i just said on the uh, this left monkey village like so all right there's our bigger radius and we're going to go ahead and go for jungle drums as soon as we can afford to buy it there we go. Perfect. Now we need to go ahead and grab one more monkey sub. Now I'm going to be going with another monkey sub here to go ahead and give us a little bit more Moab popping power. Because even though we have the sub commander and the uh, main Moab, we're still extremely weak when it comes to... Uh, well, we're not extremely weak, but we're a little bit weak towards Moab class balloons. Especially since a majority of them are going to be reinforced. So as soon as we can afford to buy our armor piercing darts, we're going to go ahead and buy it. It shouldn't take us too long to actually be able to afford it because we are getting a little bit further along in the actual guide itself. Alright, as soon as these BFBs decide to uh, join the fun, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this uh, monkey sub to armor piercing darts. There we go, perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and buy a grow blo blocker, then we're going to be upgrading this monkey village to MIB. So as soon as I have the monkey village upgrade to MIB, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back. Alright guys, here we are on round 77. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and buy our MIB now. And now that we have everything set up, this is pretty much gonna do it for uh, our main setup here. So the next thing that we're that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing all of these bushes to go ahead and give our sub commander and our other subs a little bit better line of sight, because of course uh, there, we we still have a couple of rounds to deal with, especially round 79. All right, so let me see. Our sub commander has that. Let's go ahead and remove these two bushes up here. Grab a dart monkey, place it up here. Upgrade it to enhanced eyesight with crossbow. And then we're going to go ahead and save up another roughly $2,500 before we remove these bottom two bushes. Because we don't want our uh, sniper monkey to stall the balloons more than we actually want him to. Because then it, because then it, then it will make the guide tapes take super, super long. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and remove these like so. 
And then we can go ahead and place down one more dart monkey right here, upgraded to a crossbow. And there we have it, guys. This is going to be our final, well, actually almost our final setup. We'll go ahead and buy one more monkey sub here in the very, very back to go ahead and increase our popping power even more against Moab class balloons. There we go. Now, this is going to be the final setup for the guide, or for the guide guys. But anyways, guys, uh, I just want to say thank you guys again so much for the support on the channel. You guys have been absolutely crushing it. Also, I want to say if, if you guys enjoyed this guide or you found this guide helpful, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloons Tower Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, there we have it. We have officially beaten alt er, alternate balloons rounds on Dark Castle using no monkey knowledge. But anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. But anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I'll see you guys in the next one.